On the paper talk today, we'll be talking about the takeover. Of course, we're talking about the takeover. Where would we be without takeover news? It looks like Sir Jim Ratcliffe is going to be the preferred bidder, but is there a twist in the tail? There's been a few twists and turns. And what did Avram, was it Avram or Joel? I'm not sure, have to say about himself, uh, have to say for himself on the uh, at, at Wembley when he was there for the FA Cup final, the Women's FA Cup final. Manchester United, of course, losing that game against Chelsea. Anyway, but We'll get into that a bit later on. But what did he have to say for himself? Is it going to be Sir Jim Ratcliffe? Is it going to be Sheikh Jassim? And also, what's all this about a midfielder coming in? Let's check it out. Jay here from Stratford Paddock. This is the paper talk. As you can see, I'm outside Old Trafford. And you know what? It's pretty sunny. I haven't even got my parker. So hopefully you'll be enjoying the nice weather. Commiserations to Manchester United women's team. They went down 1-0 at Wembley to Chelsea in the FA Cup final. Sam Kerr getting the late winner for Chelsea. Disappointing for Matt Skinner's team. But listen, they've had a great season. They're still in with the chance of winning the league. And also Chelsea are one of the giants of women's football, and there's no shame at all in losing to them. We, we previewed the game, and I know there's a lot of United fans that will be disappointed. Hopefully, though, there can still be some uh, a silver lining at the end of this cloud. Is that, is that even the saying? I don't know. You know what I mean. Hopefully, there's better days ahead, but commiserations are a, a big well done anyway. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not trying to be patronising there, but it's no mean feat getting to an FA Cup final, so they shouldn't be too disappointed in themselves. But obviously, you want to win it, don't you? You're not going to be buzzing because you've got to the final if you lost it. But hopefully, like I said, better days ahead. We'll get straight into it. A load of United stories doing the rounds. A lot of them, as you would expect, centering around the takeover of Manchester United. There was obviously that big news, I think it was on Friday, that the Times were reporting that basically Sir Jim Ratcliffe was the preferred bidder and the Glazers were ready to make a deal with him. However, it has gone a little bit cold on that front. There's some conflicting stories, so we'll get into that, about what should happen. There's also some stories backing up that idea that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is going to be the new owner of Manchester United. We'll start with the Daily Mail who ran a story. Um, this was, I think this came out over the weekend, and this was about Sir, Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sheikh Jassim, the two main bidders, being in the dark over what the Glazers want to do. And there's some fear that, or some belief, that the stories about Sir Jim Ratcliffe could be aimed at getting Sheikh Jassim to up his bid. Other stories as well during the rounds that the Glazers were a little bit underwhelmed by Sheikh Jassim's bid. I think they thought that with all that Qatari funding, he was going to come in and blow them out of the water with the six billion quid that they value the club at. However, he hasn't done that. So Jim Ratcliffe's deal looks a little bit more structured that he'd only buy 69% of the club, give the Glazers an opportunity to stay on for a few years before they have to move on. And with that, the valuation would be over or closer, I should say, to six billion. I don't think it's a six billion. I think it's closer to five, but it's a bigger bid in terms of what the Glazers would be getting than Sheikh Jassim's. So there's that element to this story. There's also other sides to it as well. There was a story during the rounds in the Express that Sheikh Jassim could be ready to do an 11th hour bid. I haven't really seen that anywhere else. It seems like there's a little bit of conjecture there. It might be true. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But there's also stories as well during the rounds that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is moving forward, that he's already sort of making his plans for the future in terms of transfers and what he intends to do with Manchester United. So there's lots of ifs and buts going on here. At the moment, and I do say at the moment because this story does seem to be evolving all the time, it does seem that there's quite a few reports that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is going to be the next owner of Manchester United, that the Glazers do prefer him, but it's not set in stone. There could be a twist in his tail. We saw a video, I don't know if you've seen it, doing the rounds of, um, I think it was Joel or Avram, I'm not sure who it was. I'm, I think, I mean, I don't really care. I think Avram, there you go, I've just checked. At the uh, the FA Cup final, the Women's FA Cup final on Sunday, he was asked by Tyrone Francis, pal of mine, I know Tyrone, um, about what's happened with the sale, and he just ignored him, just blanked him and walked past. So there's a little bit of a feeling here that, the, the, the new bidders are being kept in the dark. There's a couple of stories doing the rounds that on that front as well that no one's quite sure what is going to happen. No one can be certain. There's no indication yet as that it's definitely going to be Sir Jim Ratcliffe, but he now appears to be the bookies' favourite to take over at Manchester United following that report in the Times and that we saw over the weekend and elsewhere too. But let's wait and see what happens. It's it's pretty obvious that the Glazers, if, if St. Jassim came in with an 11th hour bid or tried to up his offer, they'd be susceptible to that because they're all about the money, aren't we? I think we can all agree the Glazers are money orientated. So I wouldn't be surprised if a newbie did come in, they go, actually, we were ready for a fourth round of bids. But as of yet, there's no indication that that is going to be the case. So we will keep you posted. We'll let you know what is happening, if there's any changes. But at the moment, Sir Jim Ratcliffe 
looks to be the preferred bidder. It looks like he could be the new owner of Manchester United. And as I said earlier, there's a report in the Daily Mirror, I think it is, that he's so confident, he's understood to be so confident of landing Manchester United, he's already preparing to execute transfer plans for next season. So he's already getting ready. We, I think we had a story about that on the Paddock Live last week about Sir Jim Ratcliffe's transfer plans. We've also had stories though about Sheikh Jassim's plans, about him bringing in former United players, about some of the transfers that he wants with Mbappe and a few others, I forget who else he was. I think Camavinga was on his list as well. So you always have these sort of stories coming round, but at the moment it does seem like Sir Jim Ratcliffe has moved into uh, pole position and there's also stories that the Glazers were frustrated with Sheikh Jassim's bid. They were frustrated with the fact he didn't come in with that huge bid. I think a lot of them or some of them were expecting because he has got access. I think we have to be honest about that. He has got access to the uh, to the Qatari Wealth Fund or whatever you call it. I don't think it's just him and his own money because I think his actual worth isn't as much as Sir Jim Ratcliffe so that makes no sense if you're going to say well Sheikh Jassim's got all the money to do the things that Sir Jim Ratcliffe has got if you think he's a private bidder and he's only going to use his own funds I don't know how that one works maybe you can explain it to me do get involved in the comments and the chat and let me know what you think about all this uh, one report doing the rounds about transfers is Adrian Rabiot do you remember him um, I think this has come from Le Quip and it's being reported in the Manchester Evening News that United manager Eric Tanag has identified Adrian Rabiot as an important target uh, for the summer, having already made contact with a Frenchman who could arrive on a free. I think he's out of contract um, in the summer. And so it says here, the 28-year-old has run out the final few months of his contract at uh, Juventus and will become a free agent on June the 30th. Now, if you remember, we did go for him, didn't we, last summer? And it looked like he was going to arrive at Old Trafford. There was all this talk of he's going to be the next signing. However, his mum, is his mum called Veronique? I don't think that matters too much. I can't remember. I just remember, his, I might be getting that wrong. Forgive me if I am. But there was, like, she was trending his mum, wasn't she, for a moment? Because I think there was reports that, was it um, Richard Arnold or John Murtagh, someone had flown over to, to Italy or to France to meet with uh, Rabiot's mum because she was his agent or she is his agent and they were going to do a deal with her but she priced him out of a move to Manchester United and we then went and got Casemiro. So it kind of worked out all right anyway but it's obvious Eric Ten Hag likes Rabiot. He had a pretty decent World Cup to be fair. I think a few people weren't too keen on him. I know I've said before I don't like buying players based on a World Cup but he is an experienced player. He's a good midfielder as well. Is he at the levels you need? I think he could do a job as a sort of squad option. I don't know if he'd start every week, but I think someone like Rabiot coming into this squad, you could argue he's better than some of the other options we've got. Get involved in the comments in the chat. Let me know what you think about Adrian Rabiot. Is he the answer to United's problems? Is he going to strengthen the squad? You look at the likes of Manchester City, and well, I'll say the likes of, it's usually just them in it we're looking at. They've got players that can come in, um, when others are injured or others are rested and do a, do a job. United sometimes struggle on the squad front. Is Rabiot going to improve that situation for us? Let us know what you think about Sir Jim Ratcliffe potentially now taking over as the new owner of Manchester United and putting his transfer plans in place. That's how confident he is. Or do you think there's still going to be an 11th, 11th hour bid from Sheikh Jassim? I don't know. I'm not ITK, yeah? But... From the amount of reports we've seen, it does look like Sir Jim Ratcliffe is heading towards being the next owner of Manchester United. We'll wait and see. Uh, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Make sure as well you are checking out all the other videos. The reaction from the win at the weekend. Uh, big win over Wolves. Just three games to go now. I think two more wins and Manchester United will be enjoying Champions League football next season. So go and check out the reactions from the, the game there. And make sure you are checking us out later on where we'll have the Paddock Podcast. I'm Jay Motte. Outside, a warm but breezy Old Trafford. Thanks for watching.